Hey folks, still hanging out outside of Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh. Big game coming up tomorrow, and when Penn State takes the field, they're going to trot out there a true freshman place kicker. So we caught up with one of the most memorable Penn State kickers of all time. WTHA's Jack Washer brings you the story that takes you around the globe. Massimo Menka, 27-yard field goal try. A person's path in his journey through life is never scripted. I was born in Italy. Massimo Manca was born in Sassari, Italy in 1964. His family moved to Reno, Nevada in 1979 when Massimo was a high school sophomore. Our original plan was to stay in the States for a couple of years and then go back to Italy. But he and his brother's journey back to their homeland was interrupted. Gene Scatini was the head football coach, saw me and my younger brother kicking a football around just for fun and asked us if we wanted to try out for the football team. We said, sure, why not? And just like that, that was our ticket to stay in this country. Massimo quickly earned popularity. When I played my first game and I, my first kick was a 25-yard field goal, you would have thought I kicked a game-winning field goal in the Super Bowl. His successes got the attention of Happy Valley. There was a Penn State alum out in Reno who sent out a uh, newspaper clipping after one of my games my senior year to a friend in uh, Dubois, Pennsylvania of all places, who then sent a newspaper article to the football office. When they recruited me and I had that letter from uh, Coach Paterno handwritten offering me a, a scholarship to come here to Penn State, that was a no-brainer. Massimo Manka, a freshman from Reno, Nevada. But halfway through his freshman year, he almost left it all. It was tough, you know, I, even if I, I played as a freshman and everything was great, I was still very homesick, you know. I didn't realize the magnitude of, of moving so far away from my family, and, it, and it's tough when you're an 18 year old kid. And the early struggles on the field didn't help. I can remember my freshman year against Nebraska. You know, you miss that first kick, and it's tough to go out there and, uh, you know, next kick you're looking at the uprights and all of a sudden they look like they're you know a couple of feet apart. Massimo found his stride. One of the few players to be a part of both Penn State National Championship teams. And there it is. The Penn State Nittany Lions are the national champions. And there were plenty of great games in between. Being a little bit uh, selfish, I, I remember the uh, Notre Dame game very well in 1985. Pouring rain the whole game, and we just blasted in 36 to 6, and I had a great game that day. Defying the element. Now, a husband and father, Massimo says it's the lessons Coach Paterno instilled into him, resonating in his life every day. But after you leave, that's when you realized what you had, and, and you realized to really appreciate the guy. And a lot of my former teammates will tell you guys that probably hated his guts when they played here with him. But after time goes by and you mature, you start your own family, that's when you start to realize, okay, that's why you did that. Now both his children attend Penn State. We're here a lot. A journey to America meant to last only two years turned into a lifetime of memories. I was here at the right place at the right time. I was so fortunate to be here in those incredible years. And that was WTHA's Jack Washer with the story. You can see Jack for Sports Beat, all your high school football coverage coming up tonight at 11:10 here on WTHA. And of course, our Nittany Nation Game Day show Saturday at 11:30 a.m. We got you covered from there as well. Reporting for Pittsburgh, Peter Terpstra for Nittany Nation.